working on my 2009 Chevy Cobalt and I just got in a package from ZZP and this should be uh, the coil pack cover that I ordered and my billet aluminum oil filler cap. So let's open it up and see what everything looks like and install it on my 2009. I do this upgrade to every car that I buy, uh, every Chevy Cobalt because it makes the car look a lot cleaner. ZZP sticker. That's pretty cool. And here is the coil pack cover with all the hardware to install it. And the billet aluminum coil filler cap. This makes the car have such a clean, clean look. I think together these were, let me see, Together there was less than hundred dollars. I think like ninety dollars. Yeah, so it was a little bit, a little bit under ninety dollars. I think this was twenty dollars uh, plus shipping. Another one was like fifty dollars plus shipping. So after you put this in, after you install this, then you install the ZZP, and that way you can make sure it's straight. So I've already installed this on my other 2009 Chevy Cobalt. So I'll show you how that looks and then I'll install it on the red one. This black car currently has 325,025 miles on it. And that is what it's gonna look like. That definitely makes it look a lot cleaner covers your coil packs, doesn't look at, let any um, debris get in the, the void in your valve cover. And then I just love the look of the ZZP oil filler cap. And I am gonna paint the other um, valve cover black, but I'm not gonna do that today. All right, let's pop the hood. And this car currently has 130,256 miles on it. So first thing I'm gonna do is remove the old oil filler cap. And remove this uh, plastic engine cover. Put the new ZZP billet aluminum oil filler cap on and then I'm going to put the little decal and even the decal is a nice aluminum, aluminum decal. I'm going to say I do this to every Chevy Cobalt and I just absolutely love the way it looks. This will look a lot better when I detail the engine and come through and paint the valve cover. You can see all the debris that gets in the void of the valve cover. And I, I don't like that look, so. So I love I love this high quality. All 
All right, so your valve cover is already going to have the holes pre-threaded and pre-drilled. So all you got to do is screw um, screw this in each hole. I'm definitely going to come back later and clean all this up and paint it. All right, to put this in, they take a 10 millimeter. I'm still in the process of finishing this car up as far as doing the maintenance items and. Uh, the little upgrades I do to all the cars that I keep. I'm on the fence whether or not to keep this car or to uh, sell it. Um, I got a couple bids on a couple new projects, so we'll see what um, we'll see what comes through, and that'll really determine whether or not I keep this one. You don't have to make these really tight, just give them a nice little snug down. Now you can install the ZZP coil pack cover. Alright, to install this, I'm going to disconnect the wiring for one of the variable valve timing solenoids. And that's the exhaust side. And that gives it enough room to slip on. Plug that back in before you forget. And then it comes with four Allen head bolts Then you just snug them up and it takes a 1 8 inch Allen wrench. I think everything I've bought for, from a ZZP has been really high quality. I really do love the fact they specialize in Ecotech platform cars pretty much exclusively. And there it is. There's a ZZP coil pack cover and the ZZP billet aluminum oil cap. And when I come back and uh, paint it up, it'll look like this, which looks amazing. And then I'm gonna install a K&N air filter and uh, cold air intake in the red 2009 as well. If you like this content, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for watching.